let's have a look at this question please read the question and uh, mark it and then come back which of the following statements are necessarily correct a monopolist always operates at the inelastic portion of the demand curve it faces no that is not correct false so statement a is false But uh, we know this that uh, MR equals to P into 1 plus 1 upon E. MR equals to P into 1 plus 1 upon E. So, and if E is greater than minus 1. So, I am following Varian, right? So, he has, uh, he is talking about whether when E is greater than minus 1, this is the inelastic demand. So, otherwise, we could have written 1 minus 1 upon modulus of E. That is also correct. But here we are writing in terms of, when we are not writing in terms of modulus. So, if E is greater than minus 1, so this is inelastic demand. This is inelastic demand. Therefore, 1 plus 1 upon E, this thing in the bracket is less than 0. P is positive. This is positive. This term is negative. So that will make beta MR negative. That will make MR negative. It is not profitable for him to produce. MR negative. So it is not profitable for him to produce. The point is, if you are... Uh, producing more and your revenue the, the additional revenue which you're going to get that is coming negative then it is not profitable for you to produce so and this is happening because you are operating at the inelastic portion of the demand curve so you will never operate so not profitable not profitable <laughs> Can you guys show me that how we have got this particular expression? Can you guys just tell me how we have got this particular expression? I have done this in one of my recording. You can see that in the monopoly recording. I must have done that. So please have a look at this. So this statement is false. Peter. If monopolists can charge different prices in two different markets, then it would tend to charge the lower price in the market with a less elastic demand. No. If the monopolist uh, is facing two different markets with uh, two different elasticities and in the, in the market in which it has the lesser elasticity, it means that the consumers, they have more urgent demand. Consumers do not have more substitutes available to them in the market. That is what is meant by less elastic demand. So monopolist will know that these consumers have very urgent demand. They do not even have substitutes available. He can actually charge the price very high as compared to his cost, right? So he will be charging more in the market, which is having less elastic demand. So this statement is also false. False. Monopolist. will in fact charge more a market with inelastic demand, right? Then Level of output produced by a perfectly discriminating monopolist is efficient. Yes, it is. It is. We have done this in class also that uh, in the perfectly competitive in, in the perfectly competitive market, the output which is produced at P equal to MC that is efficient. And in case of perfect price discrimination, that is first degree price discrimination, also the output is produced at P equal to MC. So that output level is uh, that output level is Pareto efficient, right? So please write this. 
this is true. This wall, this guy is true. And why we are saying it is true? Please write. Perfect price discrimination. will always result in Pareto efficient level of output. As price efficiency, right? And the production level is also same as the competitive uh, form, right? The production level output. will be same as competitive firm and inefficient and inefficiency issue associated with monopoly is eliminated. So without the main idea of doing these problems is that some concept is also revised. Uh, my suggestion to you, all of you is always write properly. Ju ju don't just mark ABC, right? You need to know why something is correct and why something is not correct. So answer the question which I have asked you, how this expression is coming, right? Thank you, Bata. I hope this was useful.